Number 10. Tiger The tiger is the animal that perhaps best encompasses the notion of charismatic megafauna. These are large animals that have gained widespread popular appeal. They've become symbolic within certain cultures and are often used as flagship species in conservation programs. The tiger's range once stretched from eastern Anatolia to the Amora River Basin and from the foothills of the Himalayas to the island of Bali. In the past centuries, it's lost 93% of its historic range and has been completely extirpated in many regions, with subspecies like the Caspian, Bali and Java tiger having become extinct. The animal was massively hunted and particularly prized as a trophy because of its beautiful striped skin. Some tiger body parts are still used as aphrodisiacs or in traditional medicine, despite no scientific evidence of their effectiveness. In Asia, the trading of tiger parts is a major black market industry, with China acting as the principal hub. It was only as recently as 2014 that a representative admitted the government was aware of the illegal tiger trade. Black market operations are booming even though there are less than 4,000 tigers left in the wild. By some estimates, there are more of these animals living in captivity in Texas and Florida than there are in the wild. Number 9. Bornean Orangutan When it comes to the impact that we can have on the animal kingdom, one of the most dramatic videos in recent memory involves a Bornean Orangutan. The animal, perched on a tree that's been cut down, charges a bulldozer which had just torn through its forest habitat. The footage was captured in 2013 and it re-emphasized the ongoing plight of the Bornean orangutan. These great apes are incredibly intelligent, have been noted for tool use and develop cultural patterns in the wild. Its island habitat is gradually being destroyed due to illegal logging and the development of palm oil plantations. More heartbreaking still, young orangutans are often sold as pets which typically entails the killing of their mothers. Number 8. Elephant Elephants are another prime example of charismatic megafauna and of the wildlife wonders found in Africa and Asia. Whether it's their enormous bodies, long trunks or massive tusks, these creatures are beloved around the world. Even though they're the largest and most powerful land animals on Earth, elephants have suffered greatly from human activity. African populations were severely poached for their meat, hide and, above all, the ivory of their tusks. Ornaments and various works of art made from the material were found in cultures around the world. In recent decades, anti-poaching measures and international bans on ivory trade have allowed their numbers to recover, but these awesome animals are still in danger. Ivory, worth as much as gold in some cases, is still very active on the black market. As recently as 2012, raiders from Chad were responsible for the concentrated killing of over 650 elephants in Cameroon's Buba Najida National Park. In Asia, the habitats of elephants often overlap with areas highly populated by humans. It sometimes leads to them trampling and eating crops. This generates conflicts with human populations that often end with the beasts being killed. One proposed solution was the creation of urban corridors, which would allow the beasts to reach relevant areas such as watering holes or food sources. Number 7. Giant Golden Crowned Flying Fox This megabat species is the world's largest flying mammal. When it stretches its wings, the giant golden crowned flying fox can reach 5 foot 6 inches, meaning it can be as wide as Napoleon was tall. It also owns the longest forearm of any bat species. The animal's name is derived from its fur coloration, which is golden from the eyes to the base of the neck. Being the largest member of its natural kind hasn't made matters more difficult for the giant golden crowned flying fox. It simply means that it's easier to shoot for bushmeat. Most of the roosts in Philippines, its native habitat, are in protected areas but illegal hunting still rampant. Since 1900, the forest coverage of the Philippines has gone from 70% to 20% and deforestation has completely removed the bat from many of the region's islands. Number 6. 
Rhino. The battle for saving the rhinoceros registered a major blow in 2018. That's when Sudan, the world's last male northern white rhino, died in Kenya. He was put to sleep in light of worsening health issues related to his age. Rhinoceroses are stunning examples of the planet's megafauna, with two species native to Africa and three found in southern Asia. They own bodies armored with thick skin and one or two horns atop their massive skulls. Sudan's health problems may have been natural, but what made him the last of his kind was a consequence of human activity. Rhinos have been heavily poached for their horn. It's used in traditional Asian medicine and in some countries of the Arabian Peninsula for making the handles of traditional daggers. There's a scientifically unsupported belief in Asian medicine that rhino horn powder can cure a number of ailments, including cancer. There's also the belief that it can be used as an aphrodisiac. It's made from keratin, the same material as human fingernails, so it basically doesn't do more than nail clippings would. Vietnam is the largest market for rhino horn, with a growing demand that drives most of the poaching. A single horn can be worth as much as $250,000 in the country. On a global scale, there have even been reports of rhino horns being stolen from natural museums. One measure towards combating poaching has been injecting the horns of live rhinos with a mixture of pink dye and pesticide. It's completely harmless to the animal, but toxic to humans who ingest it, causing nausea, diarrhea, and stomach aches. Another proposed method was to undercut the market by synthesizing an artificial rhino horn substitute. Number five, mountain gorilla. The gorilla is the planet's largest living primate and is considered to be critically endangered. Conservation efforts have stabilized some subspecies, but the mountain gorilla is at greatest risk. There are slightly more than a thousand of them left in the wild and virtually none in zoos. Even though these creatures are incredibly powerful and own one of the strongest mammalian bites, they are surprisingly shy and gentle. Poaching and habit fragmentation are among the mountain gorilla's greatest threats. Infants are trapped and sold to zoos while the hands and heads of adults are taken as trophies. Even if they aren't deliberately targeted, these creatures might get maimed or killed by traps poachers set for other animals. Furthermore, reoccurring armed conflicts displace human populations who become refugees and hunt the gorilla for bushmeat. The expansion of human settlements, as well as agriculture, pastures, and logging have fragmented the gorilla's habitat. Groups formed by the animals thus become isolated and genetic diversity diminishes. Signs of inbreeding, such as webbed hands and feet, are already evident in younger gorillas. Number four, vultures of India. The white-rumped vulture, the Indian vulture, and the slender-billed vulture are critically endangered. Since the 1990s, the numbers on the Indian subcontinent and neighboring countries have dropped by 99%. The violent decline of all three species can be traced back to the same root issue. Farmers give a drug called diclofenic to their working animals. It reduces joint pain and keeps them alive longer. Dead cattle after they're discarded still have diclofenic built up in their flesh. Vultures feed on the carrion and the drug causes them to suffer kidney failure. The situation is particularly dramatic for the white rumped vulture which, as recently as the 1980s, was believed to be the most abundant large bird of prey in the world. Today's topic was requested by Shinoria Robinson. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number three, Vaquita. The Vaquita is the smallest of all living cetacean species and the rarest marine animal on the planet. The porpoise species is nearly extinct and there may be as few as 10 Vaquitas alive today. It was only described in 1980s, so its abundance throughout history isn't known. However, in 1997, a comprehensive survey within their range, mainly the Gulf of California, discovered several hundred individuals. The greatest threat to the critically endangered vaquita has been illegal fishing. They get caught in gill nets, often illegally set up, for a fish called totoboa. There are ongoing efforts to save the porpoise. A project from the Mexican government urged legal fishermen to use vaquita-safe gear 
and even provided economic support for those choosing to pursue alternative livelihoods. Nevertheless, widespread poaching was still reported. Number 2. Amur Leopard The Amur Leopard is currently only found in northeastern China and southeastern Russia. As of 2019, there are less than 100 Amur Leopards still roaming a vast and cold territory. They are the rarest felines in the world. Unlike other leopard subspecies, these creatures have thick fur and are well adapted for surviving low temperatures. Their natural habitat is threatened by deforestation through frequent fires and the construction of roads. Additionally, being so rare makes their skin a coveted trophy for collectors, so poaching is still a major concern. More than a dozen skins were confiscated in the early 2000s. People living in small villages in or around the leopard's habitat hunt them entirely illegally. Fortunately, Russian and Chinese authorities have been working with international organizations towards saving the Amur leopard. Conservation measures include dispatching anti-poaching teams, remote monitoring, and trying to increase the number of breeding populations. One major victory of the conservationist campaign in Russia was the rerouting of an oil pipeline that was initially planned to be built through the leopard's habitat. Number 1. Pangolin The pangolin, found in Asia and sub-Saharan Africa, is a fascinating creature, particularly since most of its body is covered in armor. It bears some resemblance to a pine cone and consists of overlapping plate-like scales made from keratin. When threatened, the animal curls up with the sharp edges of its scales sticking out. While even effective against lions or tigers, the defense mechanism has a major drawback. Capturing a pangolin can be as easy for humans as picking up a bowling ball. These creatures are in high demand for their meat, considered a delicacy, and scales, which are used in traditional Asian remedies. In April 2013, a Chinese vessel ran aground in the Philippines, and the police discovered it was transporting 11 tons of pangolin meat. In 2016, the police raided the home of an Indonesian man and found more than 650 pangolins in freezers on his property. Over 100,000 creatures are taken to Vietnam and China each year, making the pangolin the most trafficked animal on the planet. Worse still, initial speculation connected the pangolin to the COVID-19 pandemic. One theory was that the coronavirus had circulated in pangolins before jumping to bats and then humans. Chinese researchers suspected the animals were a vector of transmission, but human coronaviruses and those found in pangolins share only 92% of their genome. Concerns are that, much like it happened to civets in the previous SARS outbreak, the initial reports might have led to mass slaughters of pangolins. Thanks for watching. Would you let an Amur leopard bite you if it meant saving the species? Let us know in the comments section below.